long, long time ago. This is the story about baby Mario and Yoshi. A stork hurries across the dusty, pre-dawn sky. In his bill, he support a pair of twins. Suddenly, a shadow appeared in the gas between the clouds and raced towards the stork with blinding speed. Screech! The babies are mine. Wow! Snatching only one baby, the creature vanishes. Into the darkness from which it came. The second baby falls undetected detected towards the open sea. Oh no. Meanwhile, here is Yoshi's Island, home of all the Yoshis. And it is a lovely day and Yoshi's ta taking a walk. What? Suddenly, a baby dropped in on to his back. The baby seems to be fine. This is very fortunate. What? Something else fell with the baby. Let's take a peek. It looks like a map. Maybe it's just the stork was using it. But Yoshi can't figure it out. Yoshi decided to talk to his friends. Ack! Kamen, the evil Magikoopa and kidnapper of the baby, quickly dispatches his tile toadies. when he discovered that he missed the other baby. Yoshi headed less surely back to the other Yoshis, unaware of the danger at hand. Kamen forces are actively searching the island. Will these two children ever reach their parents safely? Hello and welcome to Yoshi's Island, or in this case, Super Mario World 2. I hope some of you people have a very nice Thanksgiving. So this is actually a prequel to the entire Mario game instead of a direct sequel, because this is focusing on Yoshi instead of Mario, and instead of trying to save the princess as always, you're going to have to save your brother. So let's dive into this. And I was trying to stutter a little when I was reading the text in the beginning. So with that said, let's get into Yoshi's Island. And there is all the Yoshis, and Yoshi himself. This paradise is Yoshi's Island, where all the Yoshis live. They are all in and aware over the baby that fell from the sky. Wait, the baby seems to know where he wants to go. The bond between the twins inform each of them where the other one is. The Yoshi decided to carry their baby to his destination via vow and relay system. Now begins a new adventure for the Yoshis and Baby Mario. And 
looks like they're cheering for me. I'll catch up with them later. On of the mission. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. If Baby Mario falls off Yoshi's back, the countdown timer will begin. When it reaches zero, Kamen's toadies will kidnap Baby Mario. The more stars you collect, the safer you are. The countdown timer will be slowly count back up to 10, completing a stage by passing Baby Mario to the next Yoshi. So as you can see, I'm the Yoshi and Mario is the baby that I'm carrying. And we have ourselves the shy guy from the second game. And just like that, grab Baby Mario, jump over, even use your tongue to touch him. Throw eggs at him. If the timer drops to zero, he will be kidnapped. And there's a good reason why nobody likes Baby Mario that much. That was a close one. Let's just take care of these guys. And I really love the background and the settings because it's more crayon drawn. And we got ourselves this talking thing from Super Mario World. Hovering jump by holding B down. You can hover in the air. For a short time, make the extra effort. Just like that. And the good thing is, there's no timer. So I have plenty of time to make my destination. And it's more easier for me. Well, that was the tutorial, so... This is the entire map for the first world. All the way to the last castle over there. We're going to do only four of them before we can move on to wherever. Up to one four. So let's begin with the first world. Make eggs, throw eggs. That sounds like a good idea. Let's see. Make eggs. There's Yoshi. Grab an enemy with Y, then press down on the pad to make an egg. Now try throwing the eggs. Press A. And this is how you throw eggs. I really like how that happened. They roll. Special flower. Gather five for a up, one up. They add to your point total. This also add flower to the goal ring, rotating, or something. And that's a piranha plant. Throw eggs, which I just did. Press A once and then aiming circ cursive will begin to move. Press A again to throw the eggs. When you find a question mark, hit it with an egg. Cool stuff will happen. To cancel the throw, press down on D-pad. Let's just give it a try. Just like that. Or if you want, you can just press the trigger to hold still. And we found the question mark thing. And we got ourselves some stars roaming around. Let's just check something for a moment. The pause. So this shows all the results of how many things you need. Stars, coins, and flowers. And the total points over there in the bottom. And on the right bottom shows the inventory that you can get. But we don't have that yet, so we'll just save that for later. Let's go into this warp pipe down here. 
Chomp Rock is a useful object. Push it down and it will roll. Bowling over your enemy. If you get stuck, stand on one edge and it will start rolling. That way it makes it more easier for me to get out of some stick situation and all that. And there's one of these giant flowers, so if you have an enemy in your mouth, just throw it up like this. Or an egg. These stars will pop out. There we go. everything. Also you can just have to check some of the open spaces because there are a few secrets hidden in there. Invisible object. Sorry about that. I just had to pause the comments for a little bit. And it looks like we got ourselves the giant seed, which grows this giant flower thing. And this is what I mean. There are secret invisible items in some corners. I need just two more red coins and I'm through. And it, that takes care. 100% good. In each level, 20 rings coin are hidden among the yellow one. They each add one point to your score. Let's just take care of these guys and finish this. And there's this thing. The goal. So let's finish this. Thank you for taking care of the Yoshi. And it looks like we got ourselves the bonus game. Challenge, actually. We got 100%. That's nice. Flip cards. Uh, item change. Aim with the cursor and press A. Collect the item show. If you get Kamen, you lose all the item. Hit exit to quit. So basically, this is actually a bonus round when you get the flower. Right here, this is actually trying to guess what card it is, see what you get. Let's see. There are different games actually and based on the world you are in. Let's try this. 
Good. Okay. Let's try this again. Let's see. I got eggs. Nice. Just a few more. Okay, this one. Gotta be careful. I guess that's enough because there's nothing useful but these things. So that takes care of the first world level, excuse me. And let's move on to the next level with the chomp. And Yoshi's just waving still. Watch out below. Wrong button. And we got ourselves the chomp sign, so be careful. These things are just gonna fall down. Or not. Hold on. There it is. Just don't get out of the shadow. Made it. And that was a close one. Alright, there we go. Oh yeah, there. You can do the bot stomp. Let's see. This is a middle ring for the level. You may continue from here. So basically, this is actually saving your checkpoint. Do you remember pressing Y and down on the pad to make an egg? Press A to throw it. Okay, of course. What do you know, I made a extra whammy. So if you hit the eggs, throw the eggs on the wall numerous times, ricocheting it, it will change different colors and make it more stronger to hit. Just like that, it just turn red. Let's see where I'm supposed to go. That direction, alright? Okay, nothing. I just realized because I just lost the challenge in the Kamek thing because the flipping cards, I didn't get any prize, so I should have just canceled it. What does the other one say? Hold on. Press start to dispatch your score. Use the special item. Yeah, it just explained the item that I just mentioned. And we got ourselves this helicopter thing. You can morph into a helicopter by touching the helicopter bubble. Touch the Yoshi block in time and Baby, Mar Baby Mario will be wrapped to Yoshi. So if I find a block that's shaped as me, I just made my goal. And I turn into a helicopter. There are different vehicles you can turn into. And I'm just trying to take my time going to check on some stuff just to see if there's any flowers and any stuff. So I'm just going to start over again. Or the timer just tells me. So I end up back here, but that's fine. You can just start over. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, I made it. Good. Let me just check up here for a moment. Because like I said, there's some secret hidden in different places, so you need to take your time looking. Thank you, I'll take that. And I completed that place. Made another goal. Nice. But I didn't get the challenge. On to the next level, full of mushrooms. And a little bit of chomps here and there. The cave of chomp rocks. Okay. Take care of these guys for a moment. Man, I really like these crown drawings of the background. I keep saying that all the time. Anyway, we made it to the cave. Let's see what's up there. Nothing. Pound the ground, okay. Press down on pad while in the air. Yoshi will pound the ground. This is... This has many use and it rocks. Literally. Just like before. And we got ourselves this. It looks like one of the basket, but it's actually a crate. That's what I thought. Alright. So I remember playing this way back when I was living in Maryland, when it first came out. I remember the commercial of the fat guy trying to eat everything in the restaurant. He ate too much that he exploded. It was kind of gross, but it was the 90s. They could get away with several things at the time. Or edgy. Alright, let's see what we can do. Try to be careful not to touch these things. There are two con controller configuration for each throwing. Would you like to switch? Not right now. Because I'm fine with this one. Weird looking things with the candles I remember playing. There, see if there's any secret or something up. And this thing just cost me my thing, star, whatever. Oh, on second thought, I got more star here. Found the key, but uh, let me just push this down. Because if you have the key, go to this, and you'll find a hut which represents a game. Another one. Throwing ball. To throw the ball, key in the button sequence as shown. The game timer is limited. If the ball pop on you, then you lose. Collect an item if you win. I remember this, and I couldn't figure it out at, t at first. Just follow the move. Okay. 
Okay. Just like that. Just press the button exactly and throw the ball. Yeah, luckily I can just restart it and go over it. And that ball's getting big. And I lost. Let's try this again. What do you know? I won! Thank you very much. Also, there are different games from this. Depending on which area you're in. Let's see. I just need to find a few more flowers and coins and then I get a score. Okay, I was just checking just to be sure. And I really like when Yoshi tries to lick something and it tastes nasty and it's all wiggly his tongue. Let's see what's down here. Nothing much. which I'm guessing that's the boss. And we got ourselves the gold, so thank you, Yellow Yoshi, for taking care of Mario. And we got another thing. Scratch and match, one-up change. Scratch three boxes, uncover Mario's to gain one point. Scratch on. And here's the results. So like I said, there's um, different games. Let's see. And I just messed up that one. I messed that one again. Nope. There we go. Man, I am acing this. 
with the power of editing. Wink, wink. I did it. Yes. Now we can move on to the first boss. Which is actually the mid boss. The one in the other castle was the main boss. So let's get into this one. Bert the Bashful Fort. The Bashful Fort. Let's see where this thing is. A bucket inside. What the? <laughs> oh, that hit really hurts. Okay, so I'm gonna have to be careful with these things because it's just gonna fall on top of me. Alright, just checking. I don't have any items yet, so yeah. And there's one of the bashfuls. Gotta be careful though, because they jump real high. Mm -hmm. Thank you for all the secret coins that I can gather. Let me go back for a moment just to see if there's any stuff there. Now oh, there it is. Okay. Nice try. I could just go through this secret entrance throughout the entire level. No biggie. Okay, I guess not, so let's just be fair and try to go through the obstacle. Alright, got enough eggs, so let's go up. one of these little lava things, I remember. They don't seem too threatening, but there's a bigger variant, so you need to watch out for those. guys. Just don't touch them. I really remember them. Alright, just two more. Three more, excuse me. I see one. 
the eyebrows. These are the guys that you need to watch out. Oh, it's not threatening if you're in land. Just simply just throw an egg at him and they'll leave you alone. Just one more flower and that's it. And there's the boss door. We're not gonna go in there just yet. I only got three eggs, so let's just see if I can get back there and try to get more of these th guys. There we go. And everything is completed. So let's go face our first boss. And there's the bashful, Bert, and Cam and the kidnapper. So you're still on the baby side, Yoshi baby. Then get a load of this. I thought Kamen was a blue Magikoopa, not a witch. And Bert is already big. So it's pretty simple, just duck down and don't get hit. Let Bert hit you. And there's some eggs trying to... Plants trying to get more eggs. Pretty simple, just hit him with the eggs until his pants fall down. You know, he kind of reminds me a lot like Obelix from the Asterix comics. The way the um, pants looks. So anyway, just keep hitting him several times until his pants fall down. Very simple. And we are done. I guess he is bashful. So that takes care of the first boss, or mid-boss in this case. And on to the next level, but fortunately we're going to have to stop here, so yeah. Th thank you again for watching this. If there's anything that you like, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.